Good news, UPTV. I uh, just shot my first scene in my independent film, uh, <clears throat> Paul Pounder, Mel Renegade. How about that? Um, <clears throat> I'm not actually in the first scene, but I hired two actresses uh, to play in the scene, and they they got they're up like against the. Uh, we got Jason. They're up against the. Uh, porn shop and one of the girls goes uh was smoking a cig and goes that that pounder's bitching any carol <sighs> yeah i'd have to say so all right i'm sorry this show is starting a little late again uptv but i ran into that rascal of a wife ex-wife of mine you guessed it the infamous prostitute cherry donuts and uh she uh Offered me a blowjob, and I said, "Well, I already have. I sh I already have a blowjob at the at the salon." And uh, she says, "Well, this is a kind where you get an oral massage with a happy ending." I said, "Well, that sounds good to me. All right." Well, UPTV. Seriously, I ran away from I ran away from home at age seventeen, like a lot of kids. I wound up ended up homeless out in uh, California. So I uh, worked as a homeless comedian to save for a security deposit for an apartment. Here's some of the jokes that I used. Um, hey, ladies, you want to come back to my place? Oh, this is my place. All right. You ladies ever been with an outdoors man before? All right. You miss her as lovely as a sunset I saw last night before I got knocked unconscious with that beer bottle by that drunk. Damn that Nick Nolte. All right. I should have said this one before it came up with the uh, with the, it's the prostitute one. That's okay. I got offered a job at uh, a hair salon by a stylist. She asked me if I wanted a blow job. Why are you looking at me like that, UPTV? I blow dried people's hair after they got it washed. Behave yourself. All right. Well, I was at the gym the other day, and uh, I saw this beautiful babe squatting on the squat machine. And I ended up sitting on a bench, on an incline bench, going back, and with a cigar in my mouth, I go, ooh, baby, work that ass. Make the pounder proud. Well, the manager had it. She got the manager, of course. I ended up having to work out at the other side of the gym. Well, UPTV, when I left, the manager was doing the same thing, only he was jumping rope. Never mind. Well, I went to the grocery store last Saturday, and uh, we're looking to buy some melons. How about that, UPTV? But also, all of a sudden, this woman ran into me and said, well, excuse me, sir. I said, well, that's okay. She had to get to the produce aisle to buy some vegetables. Well, last week I saw her, and... Uh, I thought I'd let her down easy. I go, hey, miss, what we had was great, but I think we both need to move on. She said, sir, you were squeezing the melons, and I was just trying to get past you. I said, I don't, uh, there's plenty of fish in the sea, and you'll find a nice man one of these days. Maybe. Oh, I don't know. Well, she ended up calling the manager, and I got banned from the store. All right. On my last event to see my psychiatrist, UPTV, he said that I was saner than he was. He was wearing a pair of tight jeans, a western shirt, and a cowboy hat. When we left his office, there was two holes in the back of his jeans that showed his buttocks. I told the receptionist, I'll see my doctor in two months. All right. That's the end of uh, 124. I hope you enjoyed it. I didn't think I did too well. Oh, well. As always, I'd like to thank uh, Jason Leggett today for filming me and uh, Jake Shoemaker, the station manager. And hey, Kaleeb, how you doing? Also, thank Dan. And I want to thank you so much uh, for continued support of the Psychotic Comedian Show. And this is the Psychotic Comedian bidding you adieu. Oh, whatever.